My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. I am Flash Isaac, a teacher from the future. With the release of jam results, a lot of candidates have been wondering, is my jam score enough for admission? A thing out of every 20 persons you come across believe that you need to score above 250 in jam to study courses like medicine and surgery, law, engineering, pharmacy, accounting, and so on. And so many persons also believe that if your score is not more than 250, don't go near schools like the University of Benin, Unibe, the University of Lagos, Unilag, Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU, the University of Ilori, Uni Ilori, the University of Ibada, UI, so on, so forth. The truth is, you don't need to score extremely high in jam to study your desired course or to gain admission. As a matter of fact, if you are able to score above 180 in jam, there is a chance that you can gain admission. Your destiny from that point is clear. Does it mean I am an advocate of low jam score? Never. I started a series and I released an app with the videos and the app, a lot of persons who followed scored above 300, so many above 270, many, 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 many above 250. I've seen a lot of screenshots, messages, and testimonies. And by the way, feel free to share your jam score using the comment box and let people know if you followed the series and the app. Back to the question. Is my jump score enough? Should I do a change of course and institution? Do I really need very high score to study in university? Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to answer all your admission questions right in this episode. But before I embark on my procedures, take a look at this. I have loved the University of Benin so much since when I was like this. Now I wrote down, I filled the University of Benin. What course? Electrical and Electronic Engineering in the Faculty of Engineering. Now look at the problem. Competitive school, competitive course. So, I wrote jump. What was my jump score? 400? 350? 300? 250? 230? No, I scored 221 in jump. Now, with the release of the results, many persons will be like, no, 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 this is not enough to study engineering. Do you know what the University of Benin is? Now, I studied and understood how admission works. So, I refused. I proceeded to write the PCTME. Now, what was my PCTME score? Did I get admission? Yes. So, with a jump score of 251, I was able to get admission to study my course. Now, I didn't know anybody, no wrong, nothing. This is how it works. You may see in your jump slip, so 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 score out of 400. The truth of the matter is that. Jam carries just 50% of score required for admission. Many schools will bring out formula, will bring out calculations, will bring out this, 
<laughs> Don't be scared by all that. The standard or the lemma language is that jump is 50%, which means any score you get to jump will be divided by it. From this analysis, you can see that the difference between a jump score of 200 and a jump score of 232 is 4 marks. Yes, exactly 4 marks. If you see your jump result, divide by 8. That already gives you what you've gotten out of the 50 required to jump. If you scored exactly 200 to jump, that is already 25 over the 250 required by jump. How about a jump score of 240 divided by 8? You've already gotten 30 out of the 50 to jump and 30 out of 100%. How about a jump score of 280? If you score 280, that is just 35. So, the difference between 280 and 240 is exactly 5, uh, that should be 4, 5 marks if I am correct. So, jump score does not determine whether you pass or fail in life. Is constituting me a good news? Yes, a big, big good news. How? Let's say someone who scores 200 in jump, that is 25, and that same person is able to score 80 in constituting me. That could be divided by 2. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 40 plus 25, that is already 65. For most schools, this is enough for you to see graduation. Now look at it. Let me explain the admission factor for you in school. Immediately results are out. Forget all the blogs, the info, the 1000 WhatsApp groups you join, where they share that cutoff for this school is 500, positive means score for this thing is 100, is 600. No. All these are very, very wrong. This is it. Cutoff depends on performance of students generally and performance of students specifically. What does that mean like? If for a particular year, students perform poorly in jam, jam cutoff will be reduced. As of now, you don't even know jam cutoff for this year, you don't even know for next year. So you can use the previous cutoff for this year. This also applies to CME. Now, you don't know any CME score. Don't let anybody tell you that uh, the cutoff for engineering in Unilad must be 70 in CME. No. That is very, very wrong. After jam, you sit for CTM. Now look at this. If the highest score in CTM in Unilab for engineering is 70, the person who scored the highest is 70, and the average score is 50, the average score is what we determine. Now I've seen a situation where someone scored 300 and the person did not get admission. Why? Your jump score doesn't determine your admission. If you score 300, 300 divided by 8, that is just 37 out of 50. You feel, wow, I black down, I must get admission. Then you have 37 already. So let's say approximately 38 in the answer. Then your pursuit me after solving aggregate, so many to 60%. You are able to score just 20 out of that 50. You are supposed to get a position. Now, 20 plus 38, that is just 68. You scored very high in jump, but in for CTME, you scored extremely low. So, it is this aggregate that will be used your percentage from jump and percentage from CTME. Forget, most schools don't use YX. So, long you score high, YX is only about 0.5% of schools in Nigeria make use of YX. So now look at this scenario. Where this person scores 300 in jam, then perform very poor in CME, unable to gain admission. You see everybody post on Twitter, WhatsApp, and say admission is fraud, this, 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 this. 
You know, a lot of persons like to talk out of ignorance. Now look at something else. Someone scores 200 in jam. 200 divided by 8, that's 25. Then in post TME, let's say out of 100, the person scores 80. That 80 will be divided by 2 to give you 50%. 80 divided by 2, 40. Now 40 plus the 25 from jam, that is 65. This person's aggregate score is more than the person who scores 300 from jam. That is how it works. And merit admission is for those who actually deserve it. If you deserve the admission and you score very, very high, you get admission from merit. Something else can happen. I can score aggregate of 50 without admission. Someone else, aggregate of 55, uh, for, no, I can get an aggregate of 55 without admission. Someone else, 50 and get admission in the same school or the same course. That is because, apart from memory, there is what we call catchment. If you are from a those place and you are writing constituting me in Delta State, after they consider those who actually merit the admission, they will begin to look at catchment area related places. And there is third factor called educationally developed places. Those who are from states where people don't like going to school, there is a percentage for them for them in every school to encourage them. So an average person from let's say Kano Kaduna village with a particular score of 50 can be offered admission before somebody from let's say Ilori or Bini or Delta State based on educationally education and learn the below this. Which jump score is enough and what should I do with my score? Should I do a change of course and institution? These are general rules. If you scored above 250 in jam and you trust yourself, you know that you are sound and capable, then you should be able to study any course and any school should be able to take you. But you need to start preparing for post TME from day one. You need not wait for a week to the exam and start running head as better. No. If you prepare very well for post TME, follow the flash learner videos, get the app, and start studying from day one. There is no way you are not going to pass. Okay, just imagine getting about 90 in post TME or 98 or 88. 88 divided by 2, that is already 44. So out of 50, you need in post TME. You've already scored 44. Now, let's say you got 200 in jam. That is 44 plus 25. 44 plus 25. So, even with a score of 200 in jam, you are arriving at a score of 69. But if you look at yourself, you feel, I'm going for medicine, law, I'm not so strong. I'm not sure of myself. I can't do it. Then, you can do a change of course to a less competitive course or change of institution. There are many schools that don't have candidates. They are looking for people. If you go to those schools, irrespective of your score, you are going to gain admission. Just that you are all dying for Unibin, Unilab, UI, OAU, and blah, blah, blah. So many persons are applying to study in those schools. The more the persons, the more the cut-off mark. Then every year, people stay at home because they want to study in the big school. If you go to a school that is not so, 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 so competitive, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to do well. You pass jam, you pass post TME, you get admission and graduate. One person applies for medicine, a score of 70, aggregate, no admission. Another person goes for business education, score of 50, admission. You see, <laughs> you don't need to envy the person. You are the one who chose competition. So just know yourself. If you scored 200, 200 plus, then just prepare for post TME. That is the deciding factor. And if you are not so sure of yourself, look for a school that is not so, so competitive. The thing is, nobody will give you an award for studying in uni and uni life and all those things. Irrespective of the school you attend, you will get tired. There is nothing. Just gain admission. Go to a moderate school. You will be proud of studying. Then from 100 level, start learning skills. 
if it is what programming language, learn web design, blogging, start learning a lot of stuff. Then I'm free for mentorship. I can guide you. If you start attending classes and learning skills for on the level, irrespective of what you study, you are going to do very well in life. And these days, I'm not a fan of course. Just study any course, don't underrate any course. Your course does not even determine your success or failure. So, I would now attend to questions because this is a general lecture. So specifically, if you have something to say or questions regarding your school and what you should do, feel free to let me know using the comment box. I'll be here for you. And if you are not watching this video on YouTube, you'll see my number on the screen. That is my WhatsApp contact. Just tap me up and let me know how you think or the questions you have. Follow the Flash Announce YouTube channel, subscribe, then you are going to do well in Ustuti Amy.